Tinkercad tips. Here's a quick little tutorial on creating textures that you can use in your 3D objects and models. I have several examples here. For instance, I have this one. This is the texture. And on this pyramid, if I zoom in real close, you can see where I've inset that into the surfaces. Here's another one, just kind of a geometric pattern that I've inset into the surface of this cube. Here's one that I did on a sphere. Here's more of a random geometric shape that I inset into the face of this, what could become a box. You could even set these up to set proud of the object. For instance, I have a kind of a geometric pattern here on top of this three-dimensional heart. So let me show you how I did these. Let's zoom out a bit here. Let's do a quick control A, move these all out of the way. So let's jump over to Google here. So I went into Google and I typed in texture, clip art, black, white, and then I clicked on images right here. And you'll see that you'll get just tons and tons of different textures. And the way that you want to do this is to download these as a JPEG or a PNG and convert them to an SVG. So I found this one here. I'm going to right click on that. Save image as. I'm going to go ahead and overwrite that. Then I'm going to come over to this site, convertio.co. You've seen me use this before. We'll click on convert more files. Choose files. There's my original. Then I'm going to change this to SVG. I'm going to click on Convert. Give it a moment here. There's my converted file. I'm going to click on Download. Get the dialog. I'll click Save. We're going to come back over to Tinkercad. Let's click on Import. Choose a file. There's my SVG right there. Click Open. Now for this one, I want to click on Art. And I'm going to change the width here to 250. We're going to scale it down a bit. And I'm going to click Import. And this ta may take a moment to import, but be patient. It'll come in. Once it's imported, it'll look like this. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to something that's a little easier to look at here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this a bit. I'm going to come in and I'm going to change the height to 5. We don't need it to be very tall. Let's slide this out of the way. Let's bring out this sort of triangle here. We'll move it around. Let's make it a bit wider, and I'm going to hold down Alt and Shift, and we're going to scale this up a bit. There we go. Make it a little taller. All right, now let's take this, our texture, and put it on that surface. So while that's selected, I'm going to go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate. Then I'm going to click on the Cruise tool, and I'm going to grab that center white dot, and I'm going to move it about here. Now we can do a little bit of resizing. Now, depending upon whether or not you want this inset or beyond the edges, we can do this a couple different ways. Let's start with the first one being an inset. So while I have that selected, I'm going to change it to a whole shape. See that? All right. Now, while I still have that work plane, I'm going to go ahead and change my snap grid to one millimeter. And I'm going to hold down the control key and hit the down cursor button. That's going to move it into that triangle one millimeter. I'm going to select the two of those objects. I'm going to do a union grouping. 
We'll give it a moment to resolve. And that's what it looks like once it's resolved. Let's go ahead and change this to yellow. It might be a little bit easier to see. And if we zoom in, you can see where that has been inset. Let's do this the other way, where it's sitting proud of the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and undo that grouping. There we have it. Let's go ahead and click on the magnet tool again. Well, actually, let's change that to a solid. Let's make it white. Okay, now just for the moment, I'm going to hide that. So I'm going to hit Control H to hide. I'm going to put my, my work plane on this surface here. So either W or the work plane tool. We'll put that there. Then I'm going to unhide that texture. So Control H. I'm going to change the height of this to be 0.5 millimeters tall. I'm going to hit D to drop it to that plane. Now we're, we're going to need to resize this a little bit. We're going to bring it in from the edges just a wee bit. Bring that up. Come out to the side here. Let's bring this one in. Let's bring this one in a little bit. There we go. We can lasso select the two of those. Do an alignment. Click on the triangle part. We'll align that direction. We'll align that direction. I'm going to hit W and put the work plane back on the default. There we go. Now I can select the two of those and do a union grouping. We'll go ahead and change the color here to multicolor so we can see our texture. We'll give this a moment to resolve. And once it's resolved, it'll look like this. We can zoom in a little bit here. We can see where the artwork or that texture is sitting proud of the surface. So you can probably think of some fun ways to use different textures that you can find over here on Google. And boy, there's so many to choose from. Now, be careful that they're not too complex. Sometimes if they're too complex, the resulting SVG may not want to import correctly. But just look at all of these that you have to choose from, things that you could do and how you could use them in your different objects in Tinkercad. So, as always, like, follow, repost. Hope you all have a great weekend. If you have any comments, you know where to drop those. And as always, if you have ideas for other Tinkercad tips tutorials, please drop those to me in a DM. Happy tinkering!